Hi guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now in the last tutorial, we saw, we wrote a program to find the area of a triangle using Heron's form, Hero's formula or Heron's formula. And then, uh, we, and if you guys notice, this is the same program we wrote last time. Ex uh, now we will make some slight modifications to this program. Okay, now some of the modifications, okay, before we make some modifications, I thought I will explain you guys. Uh, give, giving a little introduction to you guys as to what these operations are and all okay how addition subtraction multiplication division power square root and other operations are being done in fortran okay so what i do is just uh, you know few leave a few spaces and start some comments the addition operation uh, the uh, symbols plus minus multiplicate uh, multiply uh, asterisk and slash they stand for addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, and division uh, accordingly. So we call it ASMD in short. So uh, plus stands for add. Okay. Plus stands for add. Okay. Uh, minus stands for subtract. Minus stands for subtract. Okay. The asterisk stands for multiply. Okay. And then the slash symbol stands for divide. Okay. Now, if you guys noticed, noticed as mentioned here, okay, uh, double asterisk denote exponent or p exponent or power. Okay. Okay, exponent. I, I wrote it spelled. For instance, uh, if you want to write something like two power three which is equal to 8 okay in Fortran this caret symbol is not available so this is equal to 2 power 3 so this is the just a equal representation of it and if you guys want to do a modulus division wherein if you guys want to do a modulus division wherein uh, you want to get the remainder of it remainder of a number this mod function is available so if it's like pi comma 3 this will result in 2 because this this will give the remainder modulus function gives the remainder of the division okay now this will work for both real and integer numbers okay now uh, the before we, uh, this is uh, this is all i have for you guys regarding operations the basic mathematical operations but and before we go on there is something you have to keep in mind that is called as operator precedence uh, okay okay now what this means is that when two operations are simultaneously acting on acting on uh, va variables uh, there's an order in which the variables do for instance suppose i have like a minus b into c plus uh, g uh, power ra raised to the power 5 something like that can you tell me which operation happens first which operation happens second and all it's now some guys might tell me that you know g will be raised to the power 5 and then b and c will be multiplied separately and then uh, and then they get added and subtracted accordingly some guys might say that a and b will get subtracted and then the result will be multi the result will be uh, kept as it is while g, g c and g will be added and the power might be raised to 5 and that answer and this answer will, will be multiplied and all who is right now both anybody can be right but thing is that what operator precedence does is that it just avoids the multiple representation multiple representations of a single expression like this what it does is that it it, it uh, operator precedence is that it tells that which it tells which operator to happen first which operator to happen second and uh, which operator to happen third and all okay now the operator precedence okay is given by this short name called as pemdas okay meaning uh, parenthesis okay i think it's para okay it's parenthesis and then exponent exponent multiply or multiplication 
multiplication division addition and then finally subtraction okay if you want to guys to if you are guys want to remember this easily there is this nice little acro nice little you know mnemonic they used to, they use called as please excuse my dear and Uh, Sally. Okay, if you guys notice carefully, the first letter of each and every sentence represents the uh, short, represents the acronym PEMDAS over here. Okay, uh, the, this is something you have to keep in mind. And now, with this being said, let's look at this uh, ex evaluation over here. If you guys know, if you guys have a look at this a little carefully, little carefully. Uh, you don't know exactly which will happen now with because of the parent because of the parent this is being put we will get an idea of what's going to happen first initially whatever that will be available inside this parenthesis happens because it follows a pemdas rule and this parenthesis is the outermost one so whatever that is inside follows first so inside what you have is that you have s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c but these values s minus a s minus b and s minus c since these are uh, inside enclosed within pri within parenthesis these values get uh, done separately so what you have what you'll have is that s minus a will do first and then s minus a will be do done second and s minus c will be done third and they will be separately I mean independently doing done in cer certain memory location and then the product of these four numbers are happens next and then the entire value of this product is will be raised to the power 0.5 so this is actually called as operator and op operator present operator and operator presidents okay uh, i don't want to i don't want to you know uh, flash you guys with a large larger amount of information in one video in the next video we look at uh, okay we look at you know how to uh, retrieve how to get these values from the user and how to you know uh, how to uh, get these values from the user and uh, so that we can change the values and experiment our answers and all to see how the results turn out to be. Uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. So bye guys.